What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix an incredibly annoying issue with the Windows App Store where you are unable to download games or programs completely. This is especially annoying if you just paid or activated a trial for the Xbox Game Pass on PC. So with all of that aside, this video is filmed a little bit differently. I originally went through a whole bunch of solutions, found one that worked, and that's where the video ended. But instead, I'll show you the working solution for me at least, first, just in case you're having a similar issue. Of course, if that doesn't work, after that there will be a bunch more fixes, but there's little notifications here just to tell you that the video will seem a bit out of order. But anyways, what exactly does this error look like? Well, if I open up the Windows App Store and start downloading a game or program, eventually it'll stop downloading and give me an error. If we click see details, we'll get an error code. This is the one that I'm talking of over here, 0x80D03002. If you're getting this code, then hopefully this video will be able to help you. As you can see, a download of mine failed, and if I click the restart button, after a couple of seconds, it may end up pausing and breaking just there. So let's try something a bit different. Holding down start, pressing R, and then typing in reg edit, to bring up the registry editor, will bring us over here. Let's expand H key local machine, then software. Then we'll be scrolling down to policies, expanding, Microsoft, expanding, look for windows, expand, and then we'll find delivery optimization. Click on that and we'll see do download mode and whatever it's set to. So we'll select do download mode, press delete, and then enter. Then I'll close out of registry editor and restart my PC. And let's see if that fixed it. So opening up the store once again and restarting the download, let's see what happens now. And there we have it. Things seem to be working as expected. It's downloading a one gigabyte file, but I don't think that's quite it. Microsoft Flight Simulator is an incredibly big game. So let's wait for this to finish and see where we go. And there we go. Apparently it's installed. Let's see if we can launch it. And there we go. It seems like it's working as expected. I'll choose a place to install the packages, checking for updates. And now that I pick that folder, I'll click update. And I guess there's the 100 gig download. This will of course take a couple of hot minutes. I'm not going to leave this downloading as I'd rather do that later. Let's see if it's completely fixed. Opening up the Xbox Game Store, which I'll now add as a pin. Let's see if we can download something like, say, Forza. Of course, if we're going to have an issue, we'll probably have it while downloading a new game. So let's go to the Game Pass at the very top and let's find a game here. Let's see if we can start the download for Forza Horizon 4. I'll download, choose my E drive and click install. While we're here, we may as well start a couple more downloads. Say, Minecraft Dungeons, Carry On seems like an interesting game, Sea of Thieves, Wolfenstein Young Blood, and then that's about it. I don't think I'll be downloading much else from here. If we have a look at our titles over here, we can see the download progress. It seems to be downloading them in this order, but that's fine. So of course, we'll really just have to wait for this to finish. If we want better stats on actually downloading, I think we'll have to head across to the Microsoft Store to see all of the downloads progress at once. Yep, there we go. It seems to be downloading them all concurrently, which is fine. So the next thing we can try is closing out of the Microsoft Store, pressing start and typing in WS Reset. Then we'll simply open up WS Reset and wait for this to run through to completion. This simply wipes the Windows Store cache and then we'll launch the Windows Store app. Then let's head across to the download section and see if we have a difference. Restarting the download, we can see that we're still getting the same error. So let's try one more thing. Press start and then click the settings icon. Then head across to update and security and look for a troubleshoot on the left hand side. Then we'll go to additional troubleshooters, scroll down to the very bottom and then click Windows Store apps run the troubleshooter. Then we'll wait for this to run through and we'll see if it has any issues that it's picking up that it can automatically repair. I'll click next and we'll see if anything has changed. Obviously not. So let's open up these settings once more. And this time head across to the app section. We'll scroll down to M and we'll find Microsoft Store. We'll click advanced options, scroll down to the very bottom and we'll terminate the process. Then we'll press start and open up the store once again. Head across to the download section and restart our download. As you can see, we're still having an error. Let's go ahead and reset the app completely. Once that's done, I'll press start, open the store again, and this time you can see it looks a bit different. It's a different size, and let's head across to the download section once again. Restarting our download, you can see that we're still getting the same error. So let's try something a bit more extreme. Let's head to the drive that this game is installing to. For me, it's installing to the E drive. We can see a new Windows Apps folder. I'll double click on it, 
click continue and you can see we're denied access. So we'll right click on it, properties, and we'll head across to the security tab. Then we'll go to advanced, we'll click continue, and then we'll click change next to owner, and we'll simply type in our username over here. Pressing start, hovering over our icon, we can see our Windows username. Mine is Technobo. So I'll type in Technobo. Check names, and you can see it's automatically selected my user account. Clicking OK, we'll check this box over here and click OK once again. OK, and now we should be able to open it up. Here we go. Another way around that is right clicking on the folder, Properties, Security, Advanced. We'll click Change next to Owner, and over here in the text box, we'll type in Everyone. As such, check names, click OK, replace, and then OK once again. Now we should also be able to open this up, but that of course is only if you're not able to find your username. Now all we have to do is simply restart our computer and see if things are fixed. Then we'll go ahead and see if it's actually working now after a restart. As you can see, the download isn't here. So let's head back to the gaming tab and let's search for it again. Searching for Flight Simulator, I'll click on the Deluxe Edition once again, and then I'll try installing it once again. This time I'll make sure to select the same drive that we claimed it on. So, E drive for me. Clicking install, we'll wait for the download to start and see just how far it gets. And of course, we're still getting the same error. So let's try something a bit different. Heading back to the home page, you'll see access to over 100 PC games. Clicking that takes us across to this page over here. This of course will be linked down in the description below. I'll click download the app and we'll simply install the Xbox game app. So I'll read through the license terms and accept it, then click install. Now we'll wait for this to finish. Then let's click let's go and the Xbox game app should then start up. I'll close out of this little pop-up and we see this app needs a few things that are missing from this PC. So I'll click fix them in settings. And we see this over here, dependencies, purchase app, Xbox Game Bar, and Feedback Hub. Apparently I'm missing these, so I'll click Install next to each of these to install them. I'll uncheck Automatically Launch at Startup, uncheck Keep the app running in the background, and uncheck Ask me for feedback, as I won't be using any of these. I'll choose the default disk as eDrive, where I'd like to install them, and leave basically everything else as is. So now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and find a game that we'd like to install. I'll either search for Flight Sim, or I'll click it on the side over here, and we can see it's still got an error. I'll retry the download, and it's still struggling. And because we've got zero bytes out of 127 gigabytes, I'll actually cancel the installation and see if we can restart it. Installing it to the correct drive, I'll click install once again, and we'll see if we get any further this time. And of course we don't. One of the more difficult solutions I've heard of is changing your region inside of Windows using a VPN and just changing it within the settings. This apparently can help you start your download if you're in a region that has having issues currently or you're having issues for some other reason because of your region. While this is a bit more difficult to do, you will need a VPN, whether free or paid, just to start the download. You should be able to disconnect and continue your download after doing this. I'll be using NordVPN for this. Simply open it up, and I'll go ahead and change my region to somewhere like the US. Now that we're connected, let's try restarting this download. And this one up here. And we're still getting the error. Let's go ahead and change our region within Windows to the United States. Now that we've done that, let's close out of the Microsoft Store and reopen it. Now that we're completely located within the US, let's see if that fixed our issue. So I'm heading back to my download screen and continuing my downloads. Hopefully this time we'll get a bit further. But as you can see, we're still getting the error. So region was definitely not one. And of course, that's the last solution in this video. The first one worked for me and it worked well. Since then, I haven't had an issue and everything's working fine. So anyway, thank you for watching. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot. And I'll see you all next time. Ciao.